Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I'm a professional blockchain developer and in this guide we will see how to work with functions on the Ton blockchain. Let's get started. Open VS Code, create new project, npm, create Ton latest. The project name is functions, the first smart contract name is the same functions. Select an empty tagged contract, wait for a few moments, navigate to the project directory and clear the console. Now we are ready to write our smart contract code. Open the contract file in the contracts folder. Clear the auto-generated comments. Declare a variable deployer of type address. In the init function we initialize deployer with the address of the sender who deployed the contract. This sets the deployer's address when the contract is first deployed, allowing us to reference this address later in the contract. Define an internal function only deployer that checks if the sender of the message is the deployer of the contract. As an internal function only deployer can only be called from within the contract itself and is not accessible from outside. It uses the require statement to ensure that only the deployer can call this method. Throwing an error with the message only the deployer is permitted here if the sender is not the deployer. Create a receive function that handles messages of type privileged. When a privileged message is received, the function calls the internal only deployer method to ensure that only the deployer can handle this message. Create a receive function that handles messages of type message based L1. But first we need to define a struct token info with two fields, ticker which is of type string and decimals which is of type int stored as uint8. This struct is used to store and represent information about a token. Also, we need to define an internal function getInfo that returns a token info struct based on the provided index. If the index is 1, it returns information for the token ton with 9 decimals. If the index is 2, it returns information for the token ETH with 18 decimals. For any other index, it returns a token info struct with the ticker unknown and zero decimals. When a message based L1 message is received, the function calls the internal getInfo method with an index of 1 to retrieve token info. It then sends a reply with the ticker of the token as a comment. Define a getter function result that returns the average of two integers. Define a global function average that calculates the average of two integers. It takes two integer parameters a and b and returns the average by adding them together and dividing the sum by two. Global static functions are defined outside the scope of contracts. You can call them from anywhere within the code, but they can't access the contract or any of the contract's state variables. Contract methods, on the other hand, are functions that are defined inside the scope of a contract. You can call them only from other contract methods, such as receivers and getters. These methods can access and modify the contract's state variables. The result function returns the average of two integers 1 and 10. It calls the global average function to perform the calculation and returns the result. Our smart contract is ready. We can build it. npx blueprint build. Great, we have no errors. Let's test it. Open the test file in the tests folder. Define a test case 
should allow only the deployer to call privileged method. This asynchronous function will test that only the deployer can successfully call the privileged method on the function's contract. Send a privileged message to the function's contract from the deployer's address with a value of 0.05 ton. Use an assertion to check that the transaction was successful. Specifically, we expect the result.transactions to include a transaction from the deployer's address to the function's contract's address and that the transaction was successful. Run the test. npx blueprint test. Great! All test cases have passed successfully. Define a test case. Should return correct blockchain info for Ton. This asynchronous function will test that the function's contract correctly returns the blockchain information for the token Ton when the appropriate message is sent. Send a message-based L1 message to the function's contract from the deployer's address with a value of 0.05 ton. We then construct the expected response body by converting ton to a cell, prefixing it with 32 zero bits. Finally, we use an assertion to check that the transaction from the function's contract to the deployer's address was successful and that the response body matches the expected cell. Run the script npx blueprint test. All test cases have passed successfully. Define a test case should calculate the correct average. This asynchronous function calls the getResultGetter function on the function's contract to retrieve the average of two integers. We then use an assertion to check that the returned result is equal to 5, which is the correct average of 1 and 10. Run the test npx blueprint test. Everything works as expected. Define a test case should fail if non-deployer tries to call privileged method. This asynchronous function tests that a non-deployer cannot successfully call the privileged method on the function's contract. We create a non-deployer account, send a privileged message from this account with a value of 0.05 ton and use an assertion to check that the transaction was not successful. Run the test npx blueprint test. Great! All test cases have passed successfully. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.